Got a new crime solving technology in Hernando County tonight. The detention center there is the first in the state to roll out the new system, tying criminals to investigations across the country. And it all happens within hours. Tonight, 10 Tampa Basement Leak Rankin shares the impact of the new tool. When someone is booked at the Hernando County Detention Center, their DNA is collected and sent to FDLE to be analyzed and entered into a national law enforcement database. Weeks they used to take by just sending it, emailing it to FDLE. Now, eligible inmates have their swabs analyzed by rapid DNA. The turnaround time with this new tech is just a fraction of what deputies are used to. It could take forever, uh, not knowing if the person that we have is actually in the database uh, that committed a crime, uh, we can find out within two hours uh, versus weeks of processing. Hernando County is the first to implement this statewide pilot program. It not only cuts processing time down, no DNA lab or human interaction is needed. The goal with this technology to learn if inmates booked here have ties with other investigations across the country before they're bonded out. In a matter of hours, this machine checks if the DNA sample matches any unsolved crimes, homicides, sex crimes, kidnappings, and terrorism. If there's a hit, the booking agency, arresting agency, and investigating agency are all immediately notified. Having the system in this county and throughout the states is going to help dramatically in solving the crimes uh, that are being committed. It's one more tool to keep bad guys off the streets and give assurances to victims across the country that crimes have consequences. They go through a lot of trauma, not knowing where the criminal might be and if they're still in danger. So with this technology, we'll be able to give them a peace of mind. The sheriff's office says counties across the state have already reached out about getting this tech in their jails. In Brooksville, Malik Rankin, 10 Tampa Bay. The sheriff's office tells us they are now seeking to get approval from the FBI and FDLE for this technology to be used to process crime scene evidence. This could bring answers to investigations in a matter of hours instead of weeks.